how is it that it took so long? Hundreds of thousands of years for the entire world population to reach 1 billion people. But in the last 200 years, it was able to easily grow 7 times. By 2011, the total population of the entire world has reached 7 billion. And by August of 2017, the total global population stands at 7.6 billion people. According to the United Nations Population Fund, in recent years, we have seen drastic changes in fertility rates and life expectancy. In the 1970s, women had on average 4.5 children each, compared to 2015, where the total fertility of the world had fallen to below that of 2.5 children per woman. But while fertility rates have gotten down, it was easily compensated by the rising of average global lifespans. The global life expectancy was at 64.6 years back in the 1990s, and today it reaches an average of 70.8 years. And not only that, but with the rise of technology and the digital age, coupled with higher levels of urbanization, it leads to an increase in migration, with more and more people from rural areas flocking to urbanized cities to look for income and more opportunities. In 2007, more people already lived in urban areas than in rural areas all over the world. By 2050, it's projected that around 66% of the world will have been living in cities. These population trends become a problem due to their many implications on society and the planet. It's no longer just a matter of destroying our natural resources, but rising population levels affect economic development, income distribution, poverty, and social protection, especially in global South countries where there are too many people fighting for the same opportunities, the same level of security, and the same resources in order to survive. They affect the efforts made by governments and NGOs to secure universal access to basic needs like water, food, energy, sanitation, education, proper housing, and free healthcare, among others. It also consists of solving the problem in responding to growing population needs and expectations, while at the same time modifying current production and consumption patterns in order to achieve a more sustainable model of development and to address the relationship between development and rapid population changes. So why is population growth an important element of sustainable development? Without stabilizing the population, we cannot have a sustainable planet. Human demand for resources such as water, land, trees, and energy is also growing as human populations increase. Unfortunately, other plants and animals at risk and an increasingly volatile and dangerous climate pay the price for all of this growth. The growing human population footprint must be taken into consideration in all genuine conservation and sustainability efforts. In particular, population growth tends to put growing pressure on the planet's resources, water, forests, land, and the Earth's atmosphere that is certainly contributing to climate change and challenging environmental sustainability. The dynamics of the population, however, have an effect not only on critical development goals, but also on social, economic, and environmental changes. In contrast, the dynamics of population are not only challenges, but also important as it provides opportunities for sustainable growth. For instance, a decrease in fertility levels and slow population growth leads to an increased concentration of the working age population, which allows countries to gain a demographic benefit and boost its economic development. But really, how can these urgent population concerns be addressed? First, empowering women and girls. Women empowerment and advocating for the rights of women and girls around the world is one of the most important and most powerful actions in the stabilization of population and in solving the environmental crises. When women and girls are given the option to do what they want with their bodies, and when women are given the same opportunities in terms of education and careers as their male counterparts, fertility rates plummet. Empowerment can mean different things like economic independence, access to sexual and reproductive health care, and ending extreme exploitation like child brides and gender-based violence. Alleviating poverty. Large families often go hand in hand with poverty. People in disadvantaged areas usually have no capacity to choose the number of children they have and sometimes feel that many are necessary to provide them in their age. 
if people are poor and have lots of children, the tendency is they can't invest enough in each child, which for instance means that a child or two cannot go to school. To add to this, women also have less financial independence if they have many children at home. The preference of small families by everyone is one of the keys to poverty eradication. Removing barriers to family planning and contraceptives. The absence of access to quality reproductive health, including modern contraception and safe abortions, results in high undesirable pregnancies and maternal deaths. Almost half of the pregnancies are still unintended worldwide, and more than 800 women die every day from complications associated with pregnancy. The absolute number of women with unmet contraception demand continues to grow as a result of population growth. Investing in quality healthcare, including access to family planning, contributes to slow population growth and enhances living and surviving conditions. Providing quality education for all. In order to alleviate poverty and end population growth, greater investment in quality education is essential. In reality, girls' lack of access to education affects gender inequality. For instance, one in every four girls doesn't attend secondary school, and the number of girls out of secondary school in the case of sub-Saharan Africa has increased by an estimate of 7 million since 2007 due to its regional population growth. Projecting the reality, when women are able to postpone childbirth and have fewer children, they gain the ability to pursue educational opportunities, which would hinder any dilemma in their daily lives.